when did the concept of high rise buildings come to existence high rise buildings so tall buildings one great example of really tall buildings from antiquity is the pyramids of egypt very tall very tall very tall but those aren't high rise buildings these are not buildings for human habitation the pyramids their their purpose is still unknown what purpose this they actually served so they were not buildings they were monuments which is the oldest known recorded high rise building possibly the kanishka stupa let's let's google that how tall was that so that's about from roughly 1900 years ago it is now lost the pakistanis have destroyed it okay so outskirts of peshawar what does the what does wikipedia say about this as always wikipedia is not a reliable source of information necessarily for indian topics but whatever let's just look at this so so this is this is what remained of the kanishka stupa about a century and a half ago shahji ka dhera outskirts of uh, of peshawar and now apparently there are slums on top of it so how tall was this uh, structure was this building uh, meters let's see meters or feet or whatever okay height was about 120 meters to 170 meters which is pretty big so 400 feet to 560 feet that is how tall the kanishka stupa was it was built about uh, roughly 18 or 1900 years before today huge building huge huge the, the, the tallest building in the known world possibly at the time that's one of the high rise buildings from ancient times but that once again it was a temple or a stupa it was a religious structure it was not a building where people lived uh, during the saraswati sindhu phase of our history we had multi storied buildings in the metropolitan areas like kalibangan and uh, rakhigadi and harappa and mohenjodaro and so on we had multi storied buildings but not high rise buildings so the kanishka stupa was not a building that was intended for human habitation it was never used for that when did we first have high you had something called the manhattan of the desert in yemen right what was the manhattan of the desert the desert yemen i forget the name of the ah oh, shibam 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 in yemen's hadramaut region shibam so if you look at shibam so first of all uh, how old is it it was founded in 3rd century ad and uh, yeah so if you look at this city ancient city you will see high kind of high rise buildings multi storied buildings like 7 8 stories high and this was built several centuries ago so does it tell us how when these tall buildings were first constructed i'm not sure what it says so it's been in existence for about 1700 years shibam so that's an example of uh, high rise buildings so multi storied buildings were in existence 5 6000 years ago in india the saraswati sindhu phase of our history we had the kanishka stupa that was built about 18 or 1900 years ago which was a gigantic building you had the shibam shibam city of shibam in yemen where you have possibly 1000 year old multi storied buildings reasonably high rise buildings maybe 7 800 years old that sort of thing so eventually th- this this happened obviously over time gradually and the proper first proper proper high rise buildings of skyscrapers uh those were constructed in the united states in the in the 19th century so you had otis the engineer who invented the elevator which is also called a lift and that made it possible for for humans to build really tall buildings and you could just go into the elevator and go to whichever floor you wanted you didn't have to climb all the way up and so that was a transformative invention the elevator and that's that opened up architecture to creating really tall structures tall buildings and that was the rise of there was the beginning of the, of the era of 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 skyscrapers in north america so that's where the proper 
skyscrapers, really high-rise buildings come into existence. Uh, but yeah, tall buildings have been around for four centuries, maybe even millennia. Uh, 